What a word to your boy, Sport the Black Chicken, back in, man. We back, man. The fuckery never cease, man. I'm about a couple days late on this, man, but I wanted to give a little more clarity to the situation. As we all know, Nipsey Hussle uh, was murdered, and since then, you know, a lot of people had a lot of positive things to say. But uh, Kodak Black, he had went on Instagram Live and basically, you know, I guess he was trying to shoot his shot with Lord London, saying he would give her at least a year or two to uh, mourn, you know, and cry for Nipsey Hussle. You know, he'll be their friend for her, give her their shoulder to lean on, you know, and help her get through, you know, her heartbreak. But then, you know, he'll try to make her his old lady. You know, so a lot of people felt like there was disrespect, including T.I., the game, and several other people, you know what I mean? And people just blew it way out of proportion, you know, and tried to make a way bigger deal out of it than what I felt like it really was. They said that he was disrespecting her. Um, I think what it was more than anything was just bad timing on his behalf. I think he was speaking from... A, a place where a lot of guys may be thinking. A lot of guys like, damn, man, shout out finna be a, um, a widow, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind got, you know, getting with her. A lot of niggas probably thought like that, but Kodak, you know, he actually spoke on it, and people felt like it was disrespectful, and they've been doing the most ever since. They done banished music from V-Live. They done banished music from the radio stations in California. T.I. done took the man um, stuff out of the Trap Museum in Atlanta. You know, they're just doing the most, man. So, um, what I need y'all to do, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation, man. But here go a few clips about what's going on, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. Hey. Kodak Black. You out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly. Expeditiously. Nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else gonna say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga. And if I see you, I'ma say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. This shit go for Kodak Black and any other nigga disrespecting my nigga Nip name. His legacy, his family, nigga. Keep my nigga name out your fucking mouth, nigga. Keep his girl's name out your fucking mouth, nigga. The fuck wrong with you new niggas? No respect having ass niggas, man. This new generation, y'all fucked up in the head, nigga. Stop disrespecting my nigga's name, man. This shit for real. My nigga died out here in these fucking streets, nigga. For the, doing the right motherfucking thing. Doing good for fucking people. And the first thing niggas want to do after his untimely demise is disrespect his fucking name. Nah, nigga. I ain't going for that. Keep my nigga's name out your fucking I'm in calls right now. T.I. say what? T.I. said fix that shit expeditiously. Man, listen. I said what I said. And then y'all trying to... Misconstrue what I said. I don't, man, listen, man, 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 fuck that. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. T.I., man, I don't care. I'm in Georgia right now. Fuck y'all talking about. So, so the fuck that. Fuck y'all mean, bitch. <laughs> hey, they say so much. Man, I'm about to put this Nipsey Blue on right now. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Shot Let's beat that boy and shot it low, man. Fuck all that other shit. Fuck that pussy ass museum. Bitch, I ain't give y'all permission to put me up there anyway, bitch. Fuck that pussy ass museum. I ain't tell y'all put me up there anyhow, bitch. Let's beat shot it low.